All right, guys. One, let's look at this question together. We're, we're giving, he said, before the trunk of a large tree is felled, cable AB and BC are attached as shown. Knowing that the tension in cables AB and BC are 555 Newton and 660 Newton, respectively, determine the moment about O of the resultant force exerted on the tree by the cables at B at b all right now the first thing we have to do is let's list the point a b and c now this is point a we have 0 0.75 and 6 meter connected to it 0 0.75 is on the what 0 0.75 is on the x axis because this is the x axis this is z axis then this is the y axis all right so we have what 0 0.75 on the x axis and then we have what 6 meter on the what on the z axis so point a all right Point A is simply going to be what? Point A is simply going to be what? 0 0.75 comma 0 comma 6. All right? Now, quickly, let's also list point B. Now, point B, this is point B. All right? So, we just have 7. All right? We just have 7 on the vertical. All right? Every other um, point is 0. So, this is going to be what? 0 comma 7 comma 0. All right now let's list point c now point c is going to be what point c is going to be now this is point c all right this 4.25 and 1 connected to point c so we're going to have point c to be what 4.25 comma what 0 comma what 1 all right that's going to be point c now let's find our distance ba all right now our distance ba all right, our distance subscript VA is going to be equal to what? It's going to be equal to minus 0 0.75 watts meter I plus what? Minus 7 meter J, all right? Then plus what? 6 meter what? K, all right? 6 meter K. Let me put this K. All right now we're also going to find distance bc all right so we're also going to find distance bc which is going to be equal to what 4.25 meter what i plus minus 7 meter what j plus 1 meter what 1 meter k all right now that's going to be our distance ba and our distance bc now, what's the next thing we are going to do? We are going to find the magnitude of distance BA and distance BC. So, distance BA, we want to find the magnitude. Now, the magnitude is going to be square root of what? Minus 0 0.75 squared plus what? Minus 7 squared plus what? 6 squared, all right? Which is going to give us what? 9.25 meters. We're also going to find the magnitude of distance BC. So the magnitude of distance BC is going to be what? Square root of what? Square root of what? 4.25 squared. All right. 4.25 squared plus what? Minus 7 squared plus what? 1 squared. All right. So this is going to be equal to what? 8.25 meter. Now, the next thing is we have to find the tension on BA. All right. We have to find the tension on BA. So, what want to find the tension on BA? So, tension on BA is going to be equal to what? Tension on BA, that's the magnitude of tension on BA, multiplied by distance, multiplied by, sorry, the BA, all right, over the vector BA over distance of BA, all right? Now, so this is going to be equal to what? This is going to be equal to what? TBA is going to be equal to what five 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 over now they told you that the tension on a b which is the same thing as b a is 555 going back to the question so this is 555 over distance b a is 9.25 all right multiplied by what the distance b a all right the distance b a so this is t b a 555 over distance b a multiplied by distance b a which is what we have what minus 0 0.75 meter i all right minus 7 meter j all right plus 6 meter k all right 
Now, when we multiply this and simplify it, our TBA is going to be equal to, our TBA is going to be equal to what? It's going to be equal to minus 45, what? Newton I minus 420 Newton J plus 360 Newton, what? K. All right, this is what we're going to have. Now, we're going to find what? TBC, tension on TBC, all right? That's the tension on BC. And we're told that the tension on BC is what? 660 Newton, all right? So what do you think tension on BC is? Tension in BC is going to be equal to what? Tension in BC multiplied by the distance BC, all right? Over what? Sorry, over the vector BC, over distance B, what? C. Which is going to be equal to what? 660 over the distance BC, 8.25 multiplied by this distance BC in the form of vector. So that's going to be equal to what? This is distance BC. So it's going to be what? 4.25 meter I minus 7 meter j plus k the one is going to be invisible there's a one here but it's going to be invisible all right it's going to be invisible so um tension on bc all right tension on bc we're going to have tension on bc all right tension on bc to be equal to tension on bc is going to be equal to what 340 newton I, all right, minus 540 Newton J plus 80 Newton K, all right, that's what we're going to have, all right, now, the resultant, all right, is going to be, the resultant of these two tensions is going to be TBA plus what, TBC, so the resultant of these two um, tensions is going to be equal to what, that is when we add this, all right. When we add this and we add this, or we add this as when we add this TBA and when we add TBC, we are going to have what 295 Newton I minus 980 Newton J plus 440 what Newton K, all right. 440 Newton K. This is what we're going to have now. Going back to the question, all right, they said we should find the what moment about determine the moment about O of the resultant force exerted on the tree by the cables at point B. At point B, very key word there. Now, so the moment, all right, the moment, the moment is going to be equal to what distance between B, distance of BO multiplied by the resultant. All right, which is this so it's going to be what now note our rbo is going to be what what's our rbo going to be now come back here this is bo because this is our point o which is seven meters and is on the y all right is on the y axis all right so our rbo is equal to what seven meter what j all right seven meter j all right so the moment now we're going to multiply what this all right and this so it's going to become what that moment about o all right is going to be equal to what this multiplied by this all right so when we do that it's going to be broken down into i j k is going to be seven zero seven zero seven zero and this is going to be two nine five minus 980 then 440 that's we are doing the cross product between rbo and this resultant all right r all right you should go watch my video on cross product all right if you don't know how to find the cross product so this is going to be equal to when by the time we do this is going to be equal to what we're going to have 3080 newton meter i all right minus 2065 what newton meter what k all right now this is what we are going to have all right this is what we are going to have oh sorry this is 
this was going to be 2070 all right 2070 um where's my correction pen so this was going to be 2070 all right so this is going to be 270 2070 um let it dry off all right let it dry off so this is what i was referring it's going to be two although this is going to be our final answer all right that will be the moment of the resultant force exerted on the tree by the cables at point b so this is going to be two seven two zero seven zero all right two zero seven zero newton meter key so this is going to be our what our final answer don't forget to like this video, share this video, hit the subscribe button and also the notification button. Subscribe now so that when I upload more videos like this, you get notified.